Okay, I'm going to try to stop the rambling and just get straight to it. Back to this piece. You can look two days ago and see how ignorant I was of everything. I I can see I put it all together. I'm going to show you the faces, the birds, the mushrooms, and the serpents. And each rock, but I'm going to start with this one, this piece of obsidian that's been traded across the country. This is a cross-country thing. This is not local. This is not... This is possibly worldwide. This is at least the um, the cultures of Quetzalcoatl come up here, the feathered serpent, all the way to eastern woodland. And I'm pretty sure across, across the country, I've talked to people in other states, and they have the same finds. And I realize now, this is not mica. This is pigment. This is this is traces of the natural pigmentation. This is the nose. You see, it's been there's the nostril. This is the mouth. It's been accentuated. Every piece, every nick on this thing has been accentuated. That's the eye. This is the face. That's very coaching himself or Quetzalcoatl. His nose. You you knock a, an artifact right off the tip of his nose. This is he gave the information. He he taught people how to make the artifacts. This is, this is the snake. You're going to have to bear with me here. This is one of the eyes for the snake. This is the snake's nose. Pits in the nose. There should be two triangles. One here, one here. And you can barely see this triangle. This is a mushroom. And another one here. Okay. If you doubt that these are triangle mushrooms, look at this. This is a, an artifact, a mushroom, the guy's nose. If you look at it, you'll see the, the face, the, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. This is this is what's in the bag, folks. The little bag the guy carries around is these mushrooms. I, I'm 100% certain of this. It's a bird. Here's the bird side. Here's the eye. It's scratched in, and it's round with a dot in it. Here's the beak. Now this is close. These recesses are things too. These are pictures too. This is the guy very coach. It must be a yin and a yang. This is a yin and a yang. This is the. This is another representation of each thing is going to be on this side. I'm, I guarantee it. This this is the mushroom, right here. See this is the stem. This is the net. They've accentuated the natural mineralogy. This is the, the bulb of the mushroom, and it's going right in the guy's mouth. This is his nose. This is the eye. This has been put on there. This is the ear. This is the top of the head. I don't know how much clearer I can I can point these out on every single thing. And, and I'm not... This is the bird. See, that's the beak. They've accentuated the nose, the eyes. Can you see it? I'm I'm looking at a different angle than the camera. I wasn't looking at the camera lens, so I'm not shining the light off of it the same. But can you see the bird? What is this? I haven't I haven't translated this yet. This is the mushroom right here. There's the stem, and here's the the mushroom. And the, there's the guy eating it. See the eye. See the mouth. This is the mushroom. This is the head, top of the cap of the mushroom. This is the stem. People, I'm, I've got, I'm going to come up with a vid, another, I, what is this side? Help me people. This is the guy, this is the guy again, there's his nose, the big nose guy. I've seen this a bu bunch of times. No, that's, this is, from every angle, you, it's something else, this is the nose. From here, it's the mushroom. But the nose is always a mushroom. Because they, it's also a stone in the beak of the bird. This is complex they knock the beak. This is where the projectile points, the knowledge of projectile points came from this guy. Somehow, knocking his nose off, it's a beak, it's a bird, it's a snake, all at once. This is Vera Kocha him right here. This is his nostril, his mouth, his eye, his nose. His big beak of a nose. People. 
Yep, this is pigmentate. This is painted. This is native paint. I thought it was. I thought it was something else, but it's native paint, and every chip here is going to be part of a picture. I guarantee it. And I, I want. Look, this is going to be. Is it a, a pig or a rat? This is part of the story. Is it a bird? Help me, people. Help me. Can you see it? Help me understand what these things are. Because there's more significance in it than, than just what I'm pointing out. Which one is this? Is this the bird? Is this the mushroom? This is the mushroom right here. This is the stem. And here I can see the pigment. And I've seen enough of these, I can tell you. Look, there's the triangle there. There's, and it's a bigger stem, too. This is, I don't know, this is dark paint. This is not shining through. This is black. We're going to have, we're going to have to, I need help with this. This is too big for me. I, if I was to grab every artifact, I'd, I'd have to literally grab every rock across the country. I'd need every dump truck in North Carolina just to grab the ones here in Harnett County. And a, and a thousand workers working all day long. This, I'm, I'm going to stop now. But this is is the link from across the country from California brought to here and slowly nipped and tucked and chipped at and transformed and the story has gone along with this stone that I'm bringing you. I haven't even probably seen a half of the images in this stone from what I've just showed you. That's that's as clear as, as a bell though. You cannot deny this. It was artificial was changed by man. It's painted. This is pigment. There you go, folks. This is proof. In my mind, it's proof positive, and I'm going to bring more of it to you until in your mind it is too. That that Quetzalcoatl, the whole feathered serpent culture, is up here. The pyramids. I'm going to show you the pyramids. I have, I have the pyramids too. I swear, I have the pyramids. This is a story that goes along with this stone. And I'm going to I'm going to keep figuring it out. But I've showed you I showed you the gist of it already. Thank you for watching. And please like, subscribe, share this with anybody you think might be interested, any archaeologists, any doctors, anybody interested in flint napping and Native American culture. I I have to get this message out. Thank you again.